Hey everybody, it's me, Gareth back in at Gareth's Vape Review, sitting a little bit lower in the old uh, vape player, aka kitchen. Today, from the lovely people over at cybersig.co.uk, we are going to be looking at this here. This is the X6 Polaris, a 1300mA e sig battery VV, or Step VV as I like to call it. But as always, let's get close up before we get really started, shall we? Let's see what this is all about. Okay, we're into the close-up view of the X6 Polaris from cybersig.co.uk. What we have here is a 1300 Ma uh, three-stage variable voltage device um, done in this rather funky shape. Uh, some people might say sonic screwdriver, some people might say lightsaber. Uh, but to be honest with you, it is actually rather comfortable. Now it's a brushed aluminium finish, which I think is the only finish available on the site. Uh, also, not only do you get your device, you also get your wall adapter and your charging lead, which we will chat about in just a second. Uh, chances are when you get your device, it will be turned off. And this button here turns it on, turns it off and changes the voltage. Now, of course, if we do five clicks, the pretty much standard, one, two, three, four, five, we have red. Now, red is actually 3.1 volts. Uh, to go to the next stage, do another five presses, one, two, three, four, five, and we will get purple, if that comes up purple. Uh, that's 3.5 volts, and then another five presses will step us up to blue. And blue is, of course, the maximum output of 3.7 volts. To be honest with you, I think they're actually a little bit hard out, and I think they're quoting underloaded voltage, so at the moment, because there's nothing on here, I think it's going to be hard, but once you put your device on, your voltage will drop a little bit anyway to a working voltage, so I think they've kept it pretty good there. And again, if you want to turn it off now, you're going to have to do it five times. So in actual, the menu system, as you would call it, it's to turn it off requires going through the low, medium and high, which is okay, but uh, I think perhaps a... Um, a switch or perhaps another button to change that would have been quite nice but they're trying to keep it nice and simple and easy to use so fair play to that as you can see this is solid aluminium you can't unscrew it it is a fix it's almost like a, a funky ego is the best way to describe it and of course we have here is our 510 connector and air slots cut out with along with a very deep well which I will explain in a little bit more detail. Now, when you first get your um, device, of course, the important thing to do is to charge it. <clears throat> now, of course, this comes with its own unique charger. So even though it looks like a 510, it is different. Uh, I think the main thing is this pin is a bit more pushed out. If I just grab a standard Ego lead here, uh, you will see there is a little bit of a difference. So basic thing is, guys, just use this lead with the X6 Polaris. If you get it mixed up and you check the actual uh, thing, it does actually say USB X6 on it, so that should help it to identify it. But you're going to be using only this charging lead with this device. So just a warning there, guys, so just be careful. You also get your plug adapter as well, the CyberSig one. Obviously, these come with the other starter kit on the CyberSig site. Um, <clears throat> in terms of chargers, again, safety, safety warning here, guys. Uh, only use a good quality charger. Uh, there are some sort of really cheap ones out there which you can buy off eBay for a very low price and perhaps other places, but you will risk the damage of overloading, exploding, and nasty things like that. So to keep away from it, if you need a new wall adapter, just go to CyberSig and buy yourself some new ones or use the ones that come with your other starter kits from CyberSig. Again, their logo is really prominent on there and you can see that and know to use that one. So it's probably the safest thing to do is to use the kit that they sell with the kit that you use. And then you can't go wrong, can you? So we have this device here, um, like I say, to actually charge it, of course when you get it brand new, very important, um, really much this goes into the wall, uh, this goes into the bottom here, obviously the right way around as USB is, and pretty much that will just screw into your device, um, <clears throat> obviously I've not got it plugged in, this will flash a few times, this will probably go to red, Leave it alone, in a safe place, not on the carpet, not overnight. Um, you know, when charging devices with lithium-ion batteries, you've got to be a little bit careful. You know, lithium-ion is used in everyday products, as we know, but you need to be a little bit careful. And, of course, this will go red. Once it's charged, this will go green. You can then unscrew it off the device, unplug everything, and you're good to go. Personally, I would have preferred to see perhaps a micro-USB. They've got some space on the bottom here. They could have put like a, a micro-USB lead. I think that's a better way of charging because then you don't have to keep using this bit and it says wear and tear. But we might see that in other models. You never know. So yeah, so we've got a very easy-to-use VV device here for the beginner, perhaps the intermediate who wants something a little bit more mod-like because it does look like a mod. It doesn't come apart though, guys. It's just brushed aluminium, very well-polished, very nicely finished. 
obviously has our markings here for CE and do not bin, of course, recycle responsibly, check people, save the planet and all that. So what can you do? Now you won't actually get a tank with this, so if you do all this kit, get yourself a tank. There are several to choose from, which you'll just quickly run through. First one I like is the CE7, which is the very easy to use fillet, vape it, and once it's died and gone, you just change the whole unit, so it's very good for a beginner. On this one, because of the... Um, <clears throat> The output you want to keep the voltage low on perhaps red i've just been using it on the bed on this one vaping really well if you want to jazz things up a bit uh perhaps get the ce8 maximus that could go on there as well and that actually looks pretty good actually you know it's a nice uh you know nice to use you've got your tank perhaps i should have gone for a silver color maybe they might make these in blue they might actually do new colors you never know would be nice but aum is quite nice and uh, that looks pretty funky as well and of course if you want to go for bottom crawl technology you can always use the pro tank that these guys sell and on this one i tend to use that in uh, the next mode up the middle mode purple which might not be coming out as purple but it flashes purple step up to purple alert as they would say and to me that has been a really really nice vape so uh, really really good now you can use other devices it is a 510 so you could use a cartomizer cartomizer tank um Word of warning here, guys, with some of these, like the Aspire BCD here, even though it will fit, and it will actually fire quite nicely and actually vape well, uh, there is a danger, of course, it's sunk down into the body. When you unscrew this, um, be very careful, because it could be possible that you could unscrew this, and it would actually unscrew here at the join. Never had it happen, but word of warning there, guys. Basically, if you stick to the tanks that they sell on the site, you should be good to go, but uh, very nicely done. Now, there's no Ego threading on this, so if you have an Ego star device, you might run into some problems there, guys, but uh, it's 510, so it's pretty much compatible. So, again, really easy to use. Um, as for cleaning, um, combat guys, your combat just once in the blue moon, just take a cotton bud and just give it a little gentle wipe. Don't push too hard just to get any muck out. As you can see, there, I've got a little bit of muck coming off. And if you do that, every now and again you'll be fine again with the connector as well. You might just want to just give it a little clean, uh, a little bit of tissue. Um, just keep it clean and tidy and you'll be good to go. So there you go. That is the close-up view of the uh, X6 Polaris. Let's get back to the main review. And there you go. A close-up of this little device here. A lot easier than trying to walk in front of you in the camera. So it sent me down to this to review and I've now managed to get to it. Been very this for actually quite a while and really, really enjoying it. Um, it's a really nice device, as I said, it looks a little bit like a sonic screwdriver or it could be a lightsaber. But for the, I suppose if you're like one of those guys that uses a mod, it looks like a mod and it will probably make a very good carry around device as well because it's very well made. The aluminium is really tough on this, I have to admit it's a, it's a steady little beastie indeed. Now for me personally, um, I kind of love it. I've, I've been using it on and off since I've had it and really enjoyed it. It's actually become quite a main vape of mine. I mean, the 1400 mile battery power in it that really, really helps. And uh, a couple of little nagging features, but these are minor. Um, one is the button. In order to turn it off, you've got to go through all three of the powers. I would have preferred to perhaps see a single fire button and perhaps a little switch on the side or another button to press to change. Would have made more sense, but again, keep it quite simple. And the other thing as well, I would have liked to have seen micro USB charging on the bottom, so you could use it as a pass-through. I think that would work really, really well. Um, <clears throat> like one of the things I do, not tend to like, is to keep putting the power point where the wet point goes. Why not keep them separate? And it's a, you know, there's nothing worse than a gunky connector. The gunk gets onto your charger, your charger goes green, you've got to clean it. And it's a bit of a hassle, so having a separate would have been nice, but it's not, you know... It, it's not, you know, not a major problem, it's just an observation by myself, of course. Now I've got this configured, this is my current configuration that I use this with. It's with the C8 Maximus, which is actually a Nova tank. Now I do like Nova tanks, but I'm more of a fan of bottom cool, you know, the bottom bottom cool technology. But um, with this on here, on its lowest power setting, as you can see, it produces a really lovely, and the flavour is just really good. So what they've done to this C8, I don't know, but it works really, really well. And with these two together, excellent. Of course, perhaps I should have got a different colour, but yeah, it's, it's a minor thing, you know. They, you never know, they might bring out a different coloured bomb, you know, battery soon. They might just see how this goes, and if it does really well, we might see more colours, which would be nice. But, um, you know, for everyday vaping, just a joy to use, you know. Mm. 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 Really, really nice.
and that's inhaled vapour by the way as well guys, that's down into the lungs and back out again. Wows, it's really really nice, that's on its lowest setting. Like I say, you know, it's sort of like um, a step between the ego and variable voltage, it's sort of almost like variable voltage with training wheels if you get what I mean. But you know, it's got more than enough, and like I say, one of the things I didn't notice with the voltage was um, even though they say what's it, it's 3.1, 3 3.5, 3 and 3.7, yeah, 3.1, 3.5, 3.7. I think it's actually a little bit, and I think those are under, when it's you know attached with a device load. Because if you have a device without anything on it set to 3.7, it's going to be 3.7. Put a device on there, and that will change. I think it's very good that they've actually quoted those or slightly lower voltage to give you a realistic option of what you're getting out of this. And uh, it's very rare well, I use this in high, in all honesty, guys. I tend to use this in red or purple. Uh, yeah, red and purple. It's the only two I really sort of seem to use, and all I seem to need, you know, and with their accessories, it works really well together. So, again, another great one by CyberSig. Uh, very impressive. If you want something that's a little bit different, but not too dissimilar, you get my meaning. Definitely there if you were trying with 1300 mile there, it's going to get you throughout the day with no problems whatsoever. And it is funky, and of course, you can pretend to be the doctor. Anyway guys, go and check out uh, www.cybersig.co.uk and uh, yeah, have a look at that, it's quite an interesting device and uh, it's certainly got me, got me tickle pink as they say, Dimitri Pink almost. So then guys, have a great one and uh, well, let's see what comes at the end of the video and it'll give you some more information perhaps. <laughs> okay guys, catch you later, vape safe, bye right, now. If you enjoyed watching this video, please go and check me out over at www.gaffwitty.co.uk where you'll find my blog, videos and all the stuff that I do. Thanks for watching, catch you on the next video. Bye for now.